Hello everyone and welcome to Cynical Season 4. This season is a team of four viewer picked teams uh, with Ventral Spirits being the scenario. Uh, and we have Nether off this season and Horses are off. That's really the only significant thing. Uh, as well as Strength is off in the Nether and only Tier 1 potions. Uh, so I'm just going to keep this intro short so let's just get on with the teams. Uh, <laughs> we have my team, Green Galaxy. Uh, chapter 3, who is new to this season. We have NJ and myself, obviously. And then we have Mentally Disabled, Frost Breath, Kurdit, and Sneak Snag, who is running around in circles. Um, and we have Scopehead, who is new to the season. Daniel Sherber, who is new to the season. Timon and Rushelton. Got two meerkats here. Uh, we have OU Book, Kowalski, O Scavenger O, who is new to the season. And we have Burning Tramps, who is apparently Burning Underscore. <laughs> Uh, and then we have Big One, Sugar Puffs, Costanza, who's a guest this season, and Blaze of Polymath, who is new to the season. Uh, we have Longa Vita, and we have Shut Up Brick, who's a returnee. We have Shibby, and we have Dan's, who is a guest this season. Hello. Uh, <laughs> we have uh, Bikes, uh, you Redstone. We have X and Storio, and we have Fools Maker, who's new to the season, and Heroin, who's back here in his two-up garden. And then this season, we will be having a spectator, so Mr. Scary Muffin will be specking and recording as well. So if you just want a general perspective, you should go check his out. All right, hello. My name is Mr. Scary Muffin, and today I helped my parents move a wheelbarrow into their car. But more importantly, we are watching Cynical UHC, uh, taking a look at the green team here, consisting of Sneak, Frost Breath, Mentally, and Kurtit. And for those of you guys who didn't catch it, it was quite quick. Uh, this is viewer chosen teams with some subs, uh, some people are missing. And the game mode is Nether Off and uh, Vengeful Spirits. What that means is when you kill somebody, a gas will spawn and you have to kill the gas in order to get the head of the person you just killed, uh, in order to get that golden head. Oh, do we already get, yeah, we got <laughs> Sugar Puff already took some damage. Nice job there, buddy. Uh, let's just take a look and see where he's at over. Uh, and looks like he just jumped down into this area and probably just took a slightly bigger fall than he thought he would have. Sugar, of course, is newer to this. No, actually, he's not. He has has he participated in season three, was part of the winning duel, but he did not survive to the end. So he has technically a win underneath his belt, but not really a win underneath his belt, if you know what I mean. So yeah, there's the fall right there. He just took that pro moves for sure. Take a look over here. We've got the purple team, or Violet, Magenta, what have you. OU Book, Kowalski, Scavenger, who is going to be uh, new for this season, and also Burning. Uh, this team overall, uh, it's kind of hungry for a win, I would have to say. Uh, OU especially uh, was <laughs> first to die in Season 1. Uh, still got a lot to prove. Burning, of course, was the Season 3 Iron Man, uh, was last to take damage in season three so gonna mix that up to two together to see how well they work together as well uh Kowalski, of course was first to die in season two uh even though his team technically won so again also has a win in his belt but not uh earned by him since he was the first to die so i'm uh, gonna have to say it's probably going to be up to burning to carry the team a little bit burning of course has a lot of experience doing recorded rounds uh, i think they were saying like over 20 or even over 30 of them uh, so quite a bit. Kowalski, of course, getting some foods. Very good for the team. Taking a look at red team here, consisting of you, Redstone, uh, Nestorio, Fluesmaker, and Harolin. I don't see... Oh, there are some of the other team members around now. So quick info about these guys. Uh, Nestorio, even though he's only played in Season 3, he uh, is third ranking in most kills in the Cynical Resort of Rounds. Very loud chewer as well. Uh, Flues is new to this season. Uh, probably, I think, the oldest member of the group. Uh, I don't think he wants me to tell you guys that, but he's even older than I am. Uh, he may, as a consequence, maybe a little bit weaker in the PvP department. Uh, you Redstone played in Season 3, outlasted Ginger. He was paired with Ginger in Season 3 uh, and outlived Ginger. Also got uh, one kill underneath his belt. 
And Hera only played in Season 1, so this is his first return since then. Apparently, uh, Ginger wants me to let you guys know that he is Asian, so that's pretty important. Uh, he is a little bit rusty, hasn't been playing for a while, but that's okay because Asian Asians are good at everything. And I'm allowed to say that because I am Asian, and it is true. We are really good at things and stuff. So far, not too much has been happening. Everybody's just getting settled in over here. We're taking a look at the orange team, the meerkat team. We've got Timon, Rush, uh, Idanza, and Scope over here. Uh, most of this team is subs. Half the team, I think, is subs. Oh, actually, no, sorry. Pardon me. Uh, actually, no, I don't think those notes are correct. I don't know. Ginger messed around with my notes after, uh, just, just before the record around, so some of the stuff might be the stuff about the person that these guys were substituting in for and some of these things actually might be about them but according to my notes Idanza and Rush uh, played in season 2 and were part of, uh, and Idanza was part of the season 2 winning team although I don't think that is correct I think Idanza actually is new this season uh, Timon was part of the season 2 winning team was the only survivor of that team um, and Sculphead is notable he's got the first blood first kill in season 1 Taking a look at Blaze over here. Uh, oh, I guess Blaze stepped in for somebody here. Let's take a look. Costanza, Big One, Sugar. Uh, so, oh no, he is over there. Uh, I got my colors mixed up. These guys are more of a teal. I set my color arrangement for them. Oh, he's got the pumpkin head instantly. Instantly, I am cheering for this team. Uh, Blaze putting on the pumpkin head, which of course I am also carrying myself. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, if he continues to wear this pumpkin hat, he will continue to have my full support. I will be cheering for them 100% of the way. Um, it's going to be wonderful. He's already got an apple on himself. He seems like he's missing all his teammates a little bit. I'm not too sure. Uh, let's talk about their team a little bit. Uh, oh, mentally taking on the spider. Let's forget about that. Let's go take a look at what mentally is doing. Oh, mentally fighting a spider, trying to get some strength, took some damage. Good job. At least you weren't first to take damage. That, of course, honor goes to Sugar. But already down three hearts for Mentally. Uh, since we're on Mentally, anyways, let's take a look. What is his team? Mentally, Sneak, Frost Breath, uh, and Kurtit, of course. So let's see. Sneak's got the early, easy first blood in Season 3 because Ginger was uh, tabbed out of his game at the moment and he got backstabbed by Sneak, and then he got instantly taken out afterwards by your Redstone. Uh, Frost Breath played in Season 1 and Season 3, didn't really do too much. He has a kill-death ratio of 0.2. Um, mentally, of course, only played in Season 2, but has an excellent... Sorry, 0.2 means he died twice, got zero kills. Uh, mentally, he's got three kills uh, with two deaths in Cynical Recorder Rounds, and Kurtid has one kill, two deaths. He's played in Season 2 and Season 3. Still taking a look. Everybody looks like they split up a little bit, uh, and you kind of want to split up in order to improve your chances of mining things. You don't want to be all in the same mine together, because uh, that's generally you guys will just hit the same veins kind of thing. You, it's good for people who are not confident in their minecrafting uh, so that they can support each other and help each other necessary but realistically the more you stay together in closed confined spaces you're more likely you're gonna get some friendly fire and accidentally hit yourself uh, we are already quite in oh no sorry that's just three o'clock <laughs> uh, sugar is claiming that he already has full iron so let's take a look at him uh, might be helpful because you know he took some of that damage and he's not lying he's already in full iron so good job <laughs> Kurtit of course liking to spam that chat so yeah he's got some and I wonder if he's got some spare iron as well um, yeah let's take a look doesn't look like he has spare iron for the rest of his team but got some from this nice ravine here so let's follow him for a little bit. I do still want to take a look at the last two teams that we have yet to... Actually, the last three teams that we had yet to talk about, uh, which is the blue team consisting of Ginger Chapter 3, Green Galaxy, and NG... Or NJ, sorry. We also have the light blue team uh, consisting of Dan's, uh, Longa, Shadow Brick, and 
Sibi, uh, who was not slated to play, but came in as a last-second sub. Uh, I think he actually came in for Quake, who could not make it for today. Very unfortunate for Quake. We actually... This recorded round is one month behind schedule because we were originally slated to play a month ago. Oh, oh Frostbath took, wow, a lot of damage. We have to, oh gosh, I feel bad for this guy. Oh dear, they are racking up them hurts. <laughs> Frostbath taking some, taking some damage over here in this dark, dark cave. Uh, people, of course, liking to avoid lighting, uh, just not really super helpful for them immediately. Uh, spawns are all over the place. <laughs> Look behind you. But yeah, so we were slated to play about a month ago, and uh, what happened was everybody showed up except Ginger and Quake. And uh, Ginger uh, wisely decided that he wanted to reinstall his OS on his computer and could not figure out how to do it properly and it took forever. And uh, Quake, I think, had something that just popped up like an emergency or something like that and it just did not appear. And so without the host, we were unable to run even though everybody else was there. Uh, it was very unfortunate. But now a month later, we have basically uh, a whole bunch of subs, but hey, at least Ginger is here. <laughs> So some reeds collected for sneak necessary for the enchantment uh, table that they might go after. Let's keep going. Let's take a look. Uh, looks like we really like Timon. I have. I'm using uh, this feather. It is uh, locked to a command for random teleporting. He hears the spider and he wants to go after him. Let's follow him for a little bit. Timon here, the mirror cat, yet to be armored. Uh, let's take a look at what his gear. He's got five. Uh, iron, a lot of wood, and his pick's about to break, but he's got a spare pick, so ain't no thing. Gotta be careful. Uh, even though I am vanished to everybody, I can still impede them from placing blocks, so I have to be careful not to stop them from placing them blocks if they need it. Uh, scope there just took a shot from a scary tent. Let's see where he is at. Oh. Oh, definitely don't want to in his face there. Could be some unfortunateness. Got the kill. Took only a little bit of damage. Ooh, lots of iron. I think he was mining this when he got shot by the skeleton and then he uh, backed up into his safety area. Just to be safe. There are some arrows back over here too, so I wonder what happened over here. It's kind of curious. But lots of iron for Scopehead over here. Oh my gosh, Danza! Oh dear, oh dear, I think this is maybe it. We might have our first death. Weird, oh, he just, oh, this lava. Oh, GG. And there's the blaze! So, this is the spirit of Danza. <laughs> and this will have his head. So, even if his team wants to uh, recover the head, they have to beat this blaze. Uh, when it's underground, so I think below Y60 or Y40 or something like that, it will spawn a blaze. If it is above on the surface, then it will spawn a gas. And this is actually the only way for uh, teams to access nether things such as the blaze rod as well. Scope had the chest on him and he took damage from a creeper. Not having a great day traveling around. Idanza, unfortunately, is out and is the first to go down. Poor guy. It seems like the uh, the lava stream that he was he witnessed uh, updated when he probably put a torch or broke a block nearby and then lava flow of course being a lot faster since uh, 1.7 uh, greatly affected him there. So that's very unfortunate. Two skeletons over here. I don't think Scope wants to go after this. He just wants the iron. Looks like, yeah, he's just gonna block himself off. And, ooh, brick. How big is his vein? His vein is five. He's got a total of five himself. And he is in this, ooh, wow, abandoned mine shaft over here. So, shout out Brick. We didn't talk about their team very much. Shout out Brick. Uh, team of Light Blue consists of Dan, Longa, shout out Brick, and Sibi. 
Uh, Dan's id is a gas playing from Europe, uh, and he is a good player, but tends to have bad luck in recorded rounds. Uh, Longa himself uh, played in Season 2 and Season 3. He has no kills in cynical recorded rounds, uh, two deaths, of course. Uh, and Ginger wants me to let you know that he doesn't win very often, period. A Shut Up Brick himself, of course, is coming back from Season 1 and 2. Oh, no! Yep, he got poison. That, that sucks. Sucks to be you, buddy. And the spider is coming up. It's gonna chase him, but he's put down the ledge here that will prevent the spider. Spiders, of course, can still hit him through the corner. We can hear all the spiders. They are definitely, uh, all those webs here, they're probably inside that area. I imagine one just snuck in from underneath, or maybe spawned down here uh, from the spawner and went after him. There is more gold here, though. He must have seen it. Yeah, he's going to go for it. Actually, there's another... Yeah, there's a bunch more webs and another spawner over there. But Shadow Brick sees the gold, doesn't see the spawner. So, that's going to be a... Uh, <laughs> that's going to be a bit of a pain for him. He's going to go straight for that gold, though. Oh my gosh. Forget this guy. Forget me drinking water. Uh, you redstone... Oh no, I think he's just in extreme hills here. Yeah, he's just in extreme... I thought he might have found the... Uh, I thought he might have found a stronghold. That would have been amazing. Uh, Chapter has also found some gold. Shut up, Brick. Now has eight. He still... Uh, now has nine, sorry. Uh, gold in total. So he has enough to make himself an apple and maybe recover a little bit of that health. Uh, where is he at right now? Shut up, Brick. At three hearts. So gonna take a little bit more back and of course mentally has also picked up so not mentally got creepered a little bit for one point hearts and uh, chapter picked up some more gold <laughs> your redstone taking his time over here and bikes of course a good buddy of mine I normally would cheer for him and weren't for the fact uh, that who was it that put on the, I think it was Frost Breath that put on that pumpkin. Or no, it was Blaze, right? It was Blaze. I don't even remember who I'm cheering for now. Taking a look at Longa, we already talked about his team. He is also staircasing down. It looks like that is what everybody's doing. Oh, Timon, wow, with the sixth vein, cha-ching. Does he even have his armor yet? No, he doesn't. So, goody, goody gumdrops for him. He has found the six vein. Uh, yeah. He's got some pants, at least. He's got some pants for his boomba. And oh, you book also in... Uh, I'm assuming they're both in the... Game. No, they're on different teams. Uh, his colors are screwing me up. I, I have to check. I'm assuming he's also in Extreme Hills. Yeah. He's in Extreme Hills Plus, and he's got no armor on him yet either. Just roaming around, everybody's trying to find their stuff, but Timon uh, instantly puts his team up ahead, and their team is fairly healthy, uh, minus the loss of Idans. So Diamonds will keep them in the run now that they are one man down. Uh, I see a name over there. I'm guessing that is a teammate. Yeah, it's just teammates all around. So he also picked up some gold now. Everybody is just chillaxing. You know who I haven't seen in a while? Let's take a look at the best ginger. Uh, is he just now called best ginger? What is his name now? You're kidding me, right? Did he log out? Oh, he logged out. Oh, Longa also got some diamonds and Timon found some more diamonds. Jesus. That is a lot of cheese and rice, I'm telling you. Let's go take a look at Chapter. Chapter also... Nope, that's not a... I thought that might have been a Van Mine Shaft, but he is now going around mentally. Unfortunately, found a one vein of diamonds. Timon, hello up. Pardon me, I had to sneeze there. Uh, but let's take a look at this team. Uh, they're currently missing Ginger. Who logged off, and there, uh, I think somebody else had also logged off from a different team as well. 
There they go. So Nestor was the engineer returning back. And uh, so let's see, Ginger, two kills on his record, uh, three deaths, he's played in all seasons. He, of course, is one of the hosts of Cynical. Um, chapter, he is new this season, uh, and this is actually his very first recorded round as well. I believe he was slated to appear for this one, along with Flues uh, originally being the uh, two people asked to join for this uh, season early on, instead of coming in late as a sub. Uh, Green Galaxy also on this team, four kills, two deaths in uh, the cynical recorded round. He got the first blood in season two, uh, and he has played in season two and season three as well. And NG, of course, is their uh, admin tech guy for the server running things. He is decent at melee. He's got one kill, three deaths uh, in cynical recorded rounds. He is the scripter of the group. Super important guy. Taking a look at the big one. Um, their team. Oh, there's some gold there, buddy. You don't want it? Fine. Uh, the big one consisting of Const Constanza, Big One, Sugar, and Blaze. Constanza, four kills, two deaths. He is... No, that he's a guest this time around, so that can't be him. That's somebody else's kill. Death Ratio sure that I was looking at. So he's coming in as a replacement for someone that they direly needed, uh, to be honest. Um... For example, oh wow, Timon, I'm just looking at his stats right now. He had seven kills uh, on his belt. That's ridiculous. Big one, I believe, uh, season two, season three player, all around decent player. Three kills, two deaths. Sugar uh, was part of the season three winning duel, but he did not survive. I think I mentioned this already. One kill. Oh, and that's the end of this episode. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for staying in, and I will see you guys next time. Uh, so I'm going to take talk power off. <laughs> <laughs>